But I'm, Jackie, in no doubt at all about your responsibility in this. And two million of us on the streets of London told you so at the time. And for you now to try and wash your hands of your share of the responsibility, no, I'm, not I'm afraid that's a spot that not will not my out. Hands. These all are two, the perfumes of Arabia but, 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 will not expunge that I mean, spot. And all of your poetry, George, doesn't prevent people from being murdered and massacred in Iraq and Syria at the moment. I am not washing my hands of what happened in the you past. You killed a that million separate, people in Iraq. That is a separate. You killed Ugh. a million people in Iraq. It's incredible that you have the brass neck to be sitting here now urging another Iraq war George, after what you've already done. George, if I were still in done. Parliament, I would be there tomorrow living up to my responsibility yeah. to answer the call of the Iraqi government and people to help to support them. Yeah. And the fact that you aren't is something that you will have to live with. Let me ask a final question to you, George. If not bombing, if not intervention, how do we deal with this cancer? I've met Saddam Hussein exactly the same number of times as Donald Rumsfeld met him. The difference is Donald Rumsfeld met him to sell him guns and to give him maps the better to target those guns. I met him to try and bring about an end to sanctions, suffering and war and on the second of the two occasions I met him to try and persuade him to allow Dr. Hans Blix and the United Nations weapons inspectors back into the country. And this, uh, was to be a... I gave my heart and soul to stop you committing the disaster that you did commit in invading Iraq. And I told the world that your case for the war was a pack of lies. Senator, this is the mother of all smoke screens. You are trying to divert attention from the crimes that you supported, from the theft of billions of dollars of Iraq's wealth. Have a look at the real oil for food scandal. Have a look at the 14 months you were in charge of Baghdad, the first 14 months, when $8.8 .8 billion of Iraq's wealth went missing on your watch. Have a look at the real scandal breaking in the newspapers today, revealed in the earlier testimony in this committee, that the biggest sanctions busters were not me or Russian politicians or French politicians. The real sanctions busters were your own companies with the connivance of your own government. Thank you, Mr. Galloway. So I opposed this program with all my heart. Not because Saddam was getting kickbacks from it, and I don't know when it's alleged these kickbacks started. Not because some individuals were getting rich doing business with Iraq under it, but because it was a murderous policy of killing huge numbers of Iraqis. That's what troubles me. That's what troubles me. In the you past. killed a that million a people in Iraq. That is a separate. You killed Ugh. a million people in Iraq. It's incredible that you have the brass neck to be sitting here now urging another Iraq war. If not bombing, if not intervention, how do we deal with this cancer?